Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over apply your learning question number one from the significant figures unit. Question number one has two parts and it's asking us to determine how many significant figures are in the following numerical values. So I've written the two numerical values here and I have also included a clip of the rules for significant figures. So essentially we're just going to go from left to right in each value and look at each digit and based on the rules we will determine whether they are significant or not significant. And then we can determine how many total significant figures are in the numerical values. So let's start with 654.0. Our first number is a 6. Based on rule number 1, which says all non-zero digits are significant. So 6 is a significant figure. That rule also applies to 5 and 4 then, since neither 5 and 4 are equal to 0. However, our next digit is a 0. And so we'll have to look to the next rules to see if that is significant or not. So it doesn't apply to rule number one. Rule number two says zeros between non-zero digits are significant, so it doesn't apply there. Three says leading zeros to the left of non-zero digits are not significant, but our zero is to the right, so that doesn't apply either. But rule number four says trailing zeros to the right of a decimal are significant. So our zero comes right after a decimal point, so it's called a trailing zero, and it does apply. So number four does apply to our zero and it says that it is a significant figure. So when we count up how many significant figures we have, we have three, four, four total significant figures in 654.0. Let's move on to our second number. We have 0 0.0250. Let's start with our first zero. And we can see out of the rules, number three is the one that would apply in this case. Our zero is a leading zero to the left of non-zero digits. So our non-zero digits being um, two and five. Since it's to the left of our first non-zero digits, this is called a leading zero and it is not significant. So we can underline our zero with a red underline. This also applies to the next zero since it's still to the left of our first non-zero digits. Then we have our non-zero digits, and as we know from the first one, these are significant based on rule number one that says all non-zero digits are significant. Next we have a trailing zero that comes to the right of the decimal, and so we would call this last zero significant as well. So when we count all of those up, we see that there are one, two, three significant figures. And so those are our answers for part number one and part number two.